Hey there, uh, Eric here. Welcome back to Painting Business Pro. Um, so we're going to get into a little more exciting things. Hopefully after the first two videos you freed up some of your schedule um, by eliminating a lot of the things that you're doing in your business that you just don't need to be doing. So now that you've got this free time, you know, you want to spend your new free time doing the things that are most valuable for your business, which is marketing and sales. Um, you know, what's really great about marketing is there's a lot of ways to set up marketing so that it's very automatic, um, so that you can actually create a, an ongoing flow of leads, um, so that you can actually spend almost all your time focusing on sales. When you, when you spend all your time focusing on sales, that's when you're going to make the most money. Um, but also, once you're spending so much time on sales that you're actually getting really busy just doing sales, that's when you have an opportunity to start to hire other people to do sales for you. Um, so we're going to get into sales in the next couple videos, um, which I could talk for hours about sales. Um, but once you do get good at sales, uh, marketing is incredibly easy because the whole key to marketing is your return on investment. So what I mean by that is if you spend a thousand dollars on marketing, so you, a dollar spent is a thousand dollars and you generate ten thousand dollars in revenue, that would be ten percent uh, return on a uh, 10% not return on investment but 10% is how much you spent on marketing so I would really be focused on 10% uh, or less um, in my business our marketing expense is actually about three to five percent um, but that's because we're really good at sales so when you're testing out we're gonna get into these different forms of marketing and when you're trying to figure out how to market your business you just got to test things so just try things out you got to be willing to spend a little bit of money to see if something's going to play out for you. Um, I'm going to attempt to save you some time and money by letting you know what things haven't really worked for me in the past and uh, things that, that uh, you can try out right away to start getting more leads. So again, the key to marketing is to test because there's a lot of different ways to do it. You want to test it and what, would, and what you're testing for is what percent of revenue do you spend uh, on marketing? And as long as you're spending 10% or less to get jobs, um, then I would continue that, that marketing. So there's three forms of marketing that um, I, I kind of look at. Um, one is direct. Uh, so direct is exactly how it sounds. It's, it's very direct. Um, in fact, this is how I've, I've generated probably 90% of my business over the last several years. And uh, what we do is we go door to door. Um, so I'm not going to get into a lot of details about that right now, but what's really great about going door to door is uh, I'm the first person there. So I'm always the first person to take a shot at the job. A lot of times I, I catch people before they decide to start getting estimates, so there's a little bit less competition. Um, but also what I like most is that I'm in control of the number of leads I get, because if I want to get 10 more leads, I just have to go knock on more doors, or I need to hire more people to go knock on more doors. So basically all we do for this, and I'll get into more depth in all of these things in, in another video, but all I do is I, I walk up to a house that needs painting in my target neighborhood, I knock on the door and I say, hey, how's it going? I hand them a flyer. So hey, how's it going? I'm Eric, I'm with Foothills Painting. I noticed you have some peeling paint up here, so I just want to give you a free estimate. And they say, okay. And I say, okay, what's your name? What's your number? What's your address? What are you guys thinking about painting this year? Are you looking to change the colors? And are you looking to do the whole house or just certain areas? Okay, great. I'll give you a call in the next day or so to schedule a time for an estimate. And this past year, we were getting about 80 to 100 leads a week just from door to door. So this is a really, uh, really great, uh, a really great way to generate business. Um, but it does take a certain level of skill and training to be able to train people to do that effectively, which I'm going to get into later. Um, the next thing is passive. So passive marketing is like my least favorite kind of marketing. I absolutely hate, mar hate passive marketing. Passive marketing um, would be like directory listings. So um, I'm sure many of you have, have tried this at one point or another. There's tons of companies out there that are trying to do this. Um, and it, they do it a lot of different ways. So um, one is being listed in the yellow pages, uh, being listed on other directories. Um, there's also ones that uh, uh, build websites for you. So they'll build you a website and tell you that they're gonna, you know, you're gonna start getting all these phone calls from your website. Quite frankly, you spend a bunch of money up front and hope you're going to get leads later. That's what passive marketing is. And that's why I hate it. There's, nothing, there's no guarantee of the number of leads I'm going to get. And frankly, 
all the passive marketing I've ever tried has been pretty ineffective. And I'm not saying it's not going to work, it won't work for, you know, everybody or it won't work for anybody. Um, I'm sure this does work, but I would not start here for a couple reasons. One is because you have to pay money up front and you might get leads later and you just don't know. Um, the other reason is uh, it, it might take a while. It might take a while before you start getting those leads and I don't want you to go and spend money and take a long time to get that money back. So I wouldn't recommend starting with passive marketing. Um, I just wouldn't recommend it. Um, but some places you can look is like Yellow Pages directories, um, yodel.com, 99calls.com. Those are the companies that build a website. But again, here's, here's the third reason I would not do passive marketing is anytime you get listed on one of these other people's websites, if a customer goes online and searches for you, so they go on there and they search for my company's Foothills Painting. So if I'm on all these directories, someone goes online and wants to hire me and they type in Foothills Painting, all these other companies that I'm listed on, they're such bigger websites that they rank higher than my website does. So what ends up happening is they end up stealing my customers and selling my customers to me. Um, so I really don't recommend, uh, recommend doing that or, or using any service where they want you to build a profile because um, when you build a profile, essentially you're helping them market their website better and they'll end up stealing business with, from you, which is super frustrating. So that's direct, that's passive. Um, and by the way, uh, just to take a step back, direct marketing, when we do door to door, um, I pay my employees per lead. So I don't pay them per hour, I pay them per lead. Um, so that I'm not paying you know, $100 to someone to not get me any leads, I pay $100 for 10 leads. And uh, so anyways, so I really like, I really like the idea of trading money for a lead, not trading money for something that might get me leads. So that takes me to the third thing, and this is the other way that I market my business is from lead buying. Um, I think lead buying is great, because um, they say there's a lot of companies out there that do this, and what they do is uh, essentially they find customers who want painting estimates, and you can pay these companies for those customers. Um, so they range in price and they range in lead quality, so you really got to test them all out. Um, I'll actually name a number of these companies, but this is, this is actually a um, really outstanding way if you're trying to get started or you're just trying to really grow your marketing. This is such an amazing way to do it because you're only going to pay when you get leads. So there's about six companies um, that you could look into. Um, some of them are better than others. There's one that I recommend the most, and that's PainterChoice.com. Um, they, they tend, you know, PainterChoice.com tends to have uh, better lead quality. It's less expensive, and they don't sell the leads to as, as many companies. So basically, you can you can learn more about PainterChoice.com at www.PainterChoice.com/join, and you can find out a little bit more about how that works. Some of the other companies that you can look into as well is HomeAdvisor. So that's HomeAdvisor.com, Thumbtack.com. Craftjack.com, uh, Angie's List.com, uh, Networks, that's N E T W O R X.com. Um, those are, I think, the, the other big ones that I'm, I'm pretty familiar with. Now, I wouldn't recommend starting with some of the others because, like I said in my experience, the quality of leads has been best here. The most important thing for you when you're buying leads is that you have a good sales process. Because if you don't have a good sales process and you only get like one out of, you only win one out of 10 bids, then you're just gonna spend too much money. And it's not gonna fall inside of this 10%. But if you have a good sales process, you will be able to close, uh, close these leads. So um, I mentioned in a previous video, um, Ashan, you know, and Ashan is a, a guy I helped start a painting business just recently. And I trained him on sales over four phone calls that were an hour and a half each. I trained him on sales. And then he signed up and he started getting leads from painterchoice.com. The first day he signed up, he got his first lead. He set up the estimate using the script I gave him. He went out there on Sunday and booked the very first job, the very first estimate he ever did for $2,700. Two weeks after that, or a week after that, he booked another job where he was the highest price. Okay, so if you have a good sales process, this will work. Um, and again, we're going to come back to sales processes later. Now, if you, can, if you can get success using painterchoice.com, then I would recommend trying the others out. And that's what Sean is doing right now. He's trying Home Advisor, he's trying Thumbtack, he's trying Craft Track and Networks, and he's trying all these other things. He's trying door to door. And he's kind of just tracking it all and seeing what's gonna work. 
So just to kind of give you an idea of what's possible, um, if you, let's say you, you got your sales process down really well, and let's say you didn't want to do door to door, you didn't want to do passive, you just wanted to do lead buying, which frankly is one of the easiest ways to get leads. If you signed up with PainterChoice.com, Home Advisor, Thumbtack, Networks, Craftjack, and if all of those actually were profitable for you, and they all fell in under uh, the 10% goal, you could probably get about 20 to 30 leads per week that are customers who are looking to get painting done, and those leads just get emailed to you or text messaged to you. I know with PainterChoice.com, you'll, you'll get a text message and an email the second somebody requests an estimate. So you can just call them right away, and a lot of times they're still on the website uh, looking at, at stuff about painting. So um, these are a few different ways you can start with marketing. Um, I would really encourage you to uh, be very, very diligent about tracking everything because that's really all that matters. Once you find out what works for your business, then it's just a matter of duplicating it as many times over as you can. So when I went door to door and I realized I can get a lead an hour, then it was just a matter of getting 20 people out there knocking on doors instead of just me. Once I knew I could get leads with Painter Choice and Four Collins, I could get leads with Painter Choice all across Colorado, and then I start trying the other ones. And those are the two things that have worked for me. I would encourage you to try those things out. Um, but do something, track it, and see what works. But first, make sure you've got a good sales process. That's what we're going to be going into next.